Hello Playmates, I'm Tufty Indigo. Uh, my boyfriend RCX and I really love escape rooms and we're also a big fan of the kind of cooperative games that are often described as relationship tests. So when we heard about a new escape room type game that's also a relationship test, we had to try it out. So here it is, we were here. We fired a signal flur and then suddenly a building appeared in front of us. <laughs> Assume me that's us. been knocked out by a yeti. God, even the intro video is a puzzle. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Can you hear me? Yes. I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Ah, uh, yeah, I can hear you. Still can't hear you. Well... Uh, I found a walkie-talkie on the desk, uh, and I picked it up, and it told me to push V to talk. Oh, okay. That's the button. Okay. Hello. Oh. Yes, hello. Uh, so I've got some things that look like clues. Okay, I have not much of anything at the moment. There's a door which... Uh, I mean, everything's just really difficult to see. But, yeah, there's a door which has like a bunch of purple things on it. Ah, I've got some symbols on a wall as well. I have some symbols on a wall. Uh, do you have like an eye in a pyramid? Mm, no. Um, I have a book with a row of symbols as the title, but I... Oh, and there's some things at the back. Okay, so this is probably a clue that relates to these symbols. There's like five of them. The first one looks like one of those paper folding things you used to make as a kid to tell your fortune and the second one looks like a dick uh okay um i'm not sure okay i think i get you okay is that the what's the next one then well the next one is uh it's like a cocktail glass upside down And then the, the fourth one's the most obvious. It looks like a person holding their hands up, but they've got a really big dick. Uh, okay. Uh. Is, is this actually the same symbols that you're seeing or not? It definitely kind of seems to correlate. Um, so, go, go through again. So... There's one that looks like uh, a cross with like just two slashes with uh, going through an O, right? Is that the first one? Negative. The first one I have uh, could be a stylized fox face. It's like a diamond with a bow tie shape stuck to the top of the diamond and then a horizontal line at the bottom. Job at all. Okay, okay, it could be just like a clue for a different puzzle. I've just got a bunch of things in this room, so we'll save this one for later then. I mean, this is, as far as I can tell, the only thing I can actually interact with. Okay, but I've got other clues. Let me go and tell me what you can see, and then I'll see if I can find any clues that are related to it. Uh, I mean, I can't see shit for the most part because it's too freaking dark. But, um,. There is a door which has a, uh, like a, 
a gate in front of it. I was initially thinking it was like a some kind of rotating thing. Oh no, okay. So there's there's a door and in front of it is a gate and the gate has uh, a bunch of purple dots on it that are glowing slightly. Right, so there's a gate. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I, the book that I picked up with these five symbols on, I can't put it down now. I'm stuck. <laughs> okay, well, I'm guessing this is like, we should just sort this one out. Okay, I put the book down. So yeah, t tell me if you've got symbols. Tell me what the symbols look like. Okay, hang on. Um, I did find I found another bit of text here. Actually, there's a um, like written in red. Um, the answer lies is across from this um, uh, this like bunch of symbols on the wall. If you're talking, I can't hear you. I'm just like turning up the brightness so I can actually see a damn thing. Okay. Right. So let's go through these symbols again. So I have a zero with three lines crossing through it. I have a zero with two lines crossing through it. Um, I have. I guess what you described as a drawing of a dick. Um, I have what looks like, I mean, there's repairs in each of these. Uh, hold on. So this matches what I have. The, the zero with the three lines, the three lines are like an asterisk. It's not three parallel lines, right? Yeah. Okay, so I have a thing on the wall that has an eye and the pyramid with a bunch of symbols, including the ones you've just described, and each symbol has a different coloured eye next to it. Could that be helpful for you? Not really, unless you can assign an order to them. Uh, well, the, not really. Uh, and in fact, the symbols appear twice, so there's like... So, that, on my view, the, the symbols are in two columns, and... The columns each have an eye next to each symbol. It's like a table. The first column is all eyes. The second column is those symbols. The third column is the same symbols in a different order. And then the fourth column is eyes again. Okay. So there could be an order that's just the order they appear in the column, but I wouldn't know whether it's the left column or the right column. Right. And what... Is it the same symbols that appear in the book that you were looking at? No, they're completely different to the book symbols. Okay. Yeah, so the, the only thing I can do with this, um, with these symbols basically is like interact with them. Uh, so I've got to assume it's like an order that they need to be pressed in. Well, I mean, this was the first thing I could see when I spawned in so it's logical to it's the most prominent thing in the room pretty much so it's logical to assume it's going to be the first puzzle yeah um oh there are actually above the like on either side of the wall there are columns which have eyes on them so on the left hand side there's a blue eye and on the right hand side there's a red eye ah okay so maybe this it each pair of eyes is a pair of symbols then uh possibly So are the symbols arranged in pairs? Not really, no. There is a there is a pairing to them, I now notice. What each of them is like there's a version that has that is uh, um there. Each symbol has a, a pair which is the same symbol but with like a little bit extra added. So there's the there's the um circle with the cross through it and there's a circle with an asterisk through it right that's just made by adding a uh, a line down the middle 
And then, like all the other ones have the same thing, so like the Bowtie one has one that just looks like an M. Um, and there's one that looks sort of like a sine wave, like part of a sine wave. Uh, oh, now I've cut him off again, but yes, I get it. So, I don't know if that is like at all useful. Do you have the versions, like do you see a similar pairing with the symbols you see, or do you only see one version of them? Yes, I have the same pairings going on. Okay. Oh. Well, except there's a symbol that's like a T, but the top of the T is bullhorns. That doesn't seem to relate to any of the other symbols. Okay. Ah, yes, that's true. Uh, anyway, so what's, what's your first symbol? Define first. I mean, there's not a particular order. Okay. Well, okay, well, maybe it's to do with the order of the eyes then. Do the eyes have an order? Uh, I mean, from left to right, there's blue and then red. I don't see any others. Ah, okay, so it'll be the pair of eyes will be telling you which pair of symbols to press then. So the blue and red eye is the capital M followed by the thing that... Uh, this kind of a sine wave, but it looks like a lowercase n. Okay, I think I do. That doesn't seem to have... Uh, you, you are aware you, you can't click on things to interact with them, you have to press E, as far as I can tell. Yeah. Oh, is it E? Oh. Ah, that would do it. Like the... <sighs> Zero UI games. Like, not helpful. I was pressing Q, because that was what, like, I could interact with the walkie-talkie to do. Okay, got something. Alright, the door has opened. Cool. Uh, I've walked through it and it's shut behind me. Oh, hold on, I have a door as well. I. This is going to be a problem if this door shuts behind me, because there's definitely lots of clues in here that I, we haven't used yet. Yeah. Well, my door didn't shut behind me, so we're fine. Uh, so I'm now in a room that's got a load of, like... Uh, portraits of animals around the walls, and each one has a three-symbol title. They're not the same symbols that you had, but they look similar to the symbols on the books. Okay, uh, right, I have... Um, a... Uh, I have a picture, and I have a bunch of symbols. So this seems like it should add up. Um, the picture that I have, it... Well, it, it looked like a bird, but it's like a double-faced bird. So there's like a side with a long beak, and then there's a side with a short beak. Like it's looking in the other direction. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, I have one that looks like that. Hold on. I have two that looks like that. One of them has a snail shell on its back. Okay, um, not that one. It doesn't have a snail shell. Uh, okay, in that case, uh, I think, yeah, this is a unique description then. So I've got three symbols from this. Um, the first symbol is like a, a grain store with a sideways T on the top of it, like a radio antenna. Uh, that doesn't seem to match anything. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, okay I'll, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll describe, describe the others and... Ah, uh, no, I got it, I got it. Okay, but don't interrupt me, because, like, I can't hear you if you interrupt me. Um, because that's how walkie-talkies work. So the second symbol is, um, looks, it's a stick figure. The head is a, um, a semicircle, and their arms are, like, going into their cheeks. Alright, got it. Uh, and then the third one is somebody with a diamond head and fox ears, and their arms are like up at a 30 degree angle from the horizontal. 
Oh, they don't have legs. Got it. Where did it go? It just like disappeared. Oh, maybe. Ah. Use your words. Ah, I just this the UI in this game is not agreeing with me in the slightest. There we go. It's a bit spoilerific getting the achievement unlocked thing before you tell me that you solved the puzzle. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go check if any of the doors have opened in here. Okay, uh, I'm in a hallway. There. Um, uh, oh, and uh, there appears to be water flooding in. There is the same gate and door. Above the door, in green, is written purple. You mean the word purple? Yes. Mm. I don't really have anything that relates to that. Oh, hold on, another door had opened that I hadn't found. I have a bunch of small connected rooms with uh, a load of like suits of armor on the walls, but nothing that looks like a clue. Okay. Uh, water is still rising, by the way. Uh, okay, I have a room that has some water in it and three valves that I could turn. They are blue, red, and yellow. Okay, I don't see how that directly relates to this. No, but this is the new thing. Like, blue and yellow makes green, and blue and red makes purple. Give it a shot. But, I, I don't really know how that relates. Does that mean I should turn the blue one, because it's included in both of those colours? Go for it. I have opened the blue valve. Okay, it's making no difference. Do you want me to try and turn another valve? Sure! Okay, that seemed to do it. What did you, like, turn? I turned the red one next. Oh, actually, maybe the red is purple and it's just the lighting. Oh, okay. Okay, well, I am now in just the hallway with, like, two doors in it and nothing else that I can see. Uh, describe the layout of the two doors. Uh, I mean, it's a corridor. A straight corridor with a door at one end and a door at the other end. I mean, it sounds like you should go through the door at the other end. I can't go through the door, they're both closed. Uh, any symbols? Nope. Mm, I, I don't appear to have any new doors. Oh, I just needed to, like, interact with the door, unlike all of the other doors. Fine. <laughs> okay, um... I have a series of portcullises and a lever. So there's two of them. Uh, the lever seems to alternate which one is down. Okay, um, at this stage I would just like to point out that I have a book here that has written in blood across the pages between the eyes. It seems like something you might need to know urgently at some point. I don't know when you need to know it urgently. Okay. Um, Alright, there is some text that says bring down the guiding light. 
also written uh, on the wall. Damn, the guy didn't like Oh, okay, I can actually just walk through here. Oh, okay, there's quite a complex arrangement of uh, rooms here. Ah, this might be related to the map. Do they have stairs between them? Yes. Okay, this sounds like my map then. Um, uh, so I've got two, well, maybe three possible exits to this area then. What you've got is a uh, kind of a circular path with a blocked off area in the middle. Uh, there's a bunch of square closets in this area. If you get to one of those, can you describe the arrangement of the barrels, crates, and or planks that you find? Uh, okay. Uh, this one, as far as I can tell, there's nothing in it. Uh, can you just tell me how you got to this area as well? Uh, yeah, one sec. I mean, do you have the, an area that's obviously the entrance? No, I just have three stairs that lead out of this area, and I don't know which one you're aiming for. Okay, so I have uh, gone down one set of stairs, turned right, gone up a set of stairs, then turned left up a set of stairs, and this is like one of the square areas which has nothing in it as far as i can see but it's like dark so uh could you repeat that sequence i didn't tell me what uh, you did not do it again yeah hang on i need to remember what it was so i came in the entrance where there's two port two sort of sets of portcullises i turned left and then, like, left and then down a set of stairs, and then right and up a set of stairs, and then left and up another set of stairs. Uh, there is also a picture of a dog here as well. Uh, oh, you might have, you might already be out of the maze. Uh, the set of stairs that you went of most recently, was it twice as wide as the other stairs? No. Okay, let's, let's go focus on this picture of a dog and ignore the map for now then. Tell me about the dog. Uh, it's a picture of a dog. Um, it looks like it's like got some drool like splashed at its feet. Um, and it's like brown and white. Okay, so it's not like the fantasy creatures in my portraits then. This is going to be something different. I mean, it's in the similar style, but yeah, it's like, there's nothing particularly weird about it. Uh, you don't have any symbols near the dog, do you? Nope. Uh, is there anything else in this room? Uh, there is a bunch of random stuff around. Oh, tell me about the random stuff. I mean, there's some statues on the wall. They all look like the same statue. Uh, there are some barrels about in, like, other parts of this general, uh, area. Uh, there's another picture which looks like a dog with, like, a candle holder on its head. Okay, well, I'm not seeing anything related to these dogs. Are you still in this kind of maze thing with the stairs going up and down? Yeah. Ah, okay. Um, t 
tell me more about the arrangements of barrels and crates and things you have in these rooms. Uh, okay, hang on. I'll just find one with some barrels in it again. You don't have a compass by any chance, do you? Nope. Okay, um, I am in a room which has three crates in it. Uh, does it also have, like, a shelving unit or some planks or something that are next to the crates? Uh, there's a ladder. Otherwise... Well, there is the ladder, like, flat on the floor. No. Oh, you didn't tell me you had ladders up and down as well? I mean, it's, like, up against the wall. I can't climb it. Well, maybe, okay, maybe this is a ladder. So, um, from this room... Uh, I feel like I should be heading you to the stairs that are double wide at the top. So if you go straight out of this room, there should be immediately stairs. Uh, yeah. And then if you go right and then left, so you uh, you turn right and the corridor immediately goes left. And then when you go left again, there's some more stairs. Yeah. And then you turn right so you're going the same direction again, and then at the end of this corridor, the stairs to the right. Mm -hmm. uh, and now you're in a rectangular area, there's stairs ahead of you and to the right, and there's an uh, exit to the left that doesn't have stairs. Take the one that doesn't have stairs. Okay. And then you'll follow the corridor around to the right, and there'll be some stairs on your left, which you should take, and then immediately again on your left, there are stairs. Uh, okay. That all adds up. Okay, after you've gone past that last set of stairs, there's a double-width staircase on the right. Take that one. Oh, okay, there's like, there's two sets of stairs right next to each other. Okay, um... Yeah, I'd like that's the edge of the map as far as I'm concerned, so. Okay, well, there is a differently shaped portcullis here that's preventing me from going up, which is red. I do have a lever here, but it's white. And I've never pulled it yet. I've been waiting for the right opportunity. Okay, well, I'll give it a shot. My lever is now in the down position. Doesn't seem to have changed anything here. Oh no, turn the lights on maybe? Uh, ah, uh, hold on. Uh, yeah, I, I have a bunch of extra stuff on my map that I couldn't see before. Okay, that would be useful. Ah, so the... Mm, so, on my map, I now have a bunch of red and green and blue things, which could be your portcullises. And I have an exit and an entry marked on the map. And I have a bunch of X's in the rooms that have crates in them, which could be the switches for the portcullises. That's plausible. So the stairs that you're at, which, which ones did you take? The first ones or the second ones? Um... I mean, of the two, I mean, I'm stat at the bottom of the two sets of stairs next to each other. Okay, of those, you want the one on the left, but it has a red mark on it. Is that got the poor colours? Yeah. And the poor colours is down? Indeed. So, okay, I'm like actually confused about how you got here because there's a, there, there's a poor colours across the route that you came. Uh, it was probably up. Okay, but I have two different marks. I have, like, filled boxes and empty boxes. Which I assume the empty ones are the porculuses that are up. Uh, maybe. I'm not sure if it will update for you, but... That might be the default position. Uh, my marks have just disappeared, so I will have to go and turn the lever back on every so often. But anyway, if you okay. go... If you retrace your steps, so from the bottom of the stairs, you go the way you came, round the corner. Uh-huh, okay. So that's two... So, up a set of stairs, yep. Yeah, so there's the two sets of stairs at nine. 
fucked after the right. second one. Okay, right, yeah. On the corridor to the left, there's a rectangular room. Yep. In front of you, there should be a portcullis that's down, I think? Yes, green. Okay, so that room behind that portcullis has the switch for the red portcullis. All right. Hold on, let me go and turn the light back on. Oh. Uh, I got back to the switch and the switch is still on, even though the light went off. Maybe you need to toggle it. Okay, so, uh, turn back... Oh, no, no, so, take the stairs on the right that are, um... Yeah, so if you're facing the green four colours, turn right and take the steps, and then follow that corridor or you'll be going back on yourself. Alright, uh, I'm passing another port colours. Actually, a bunch of them. Okay, right. Following the corridor around. Uh, going down another set of stairs. Yep, and then you'll be immediately right after you go after those stairs. And then when you follow that corridor, to the right, uh, like at the end of it, it's jinked a bit, is another set of stairs that goes into a room. So, to the left. No, the, the stairs are on the left after you followed the corridor around, yeah. Yeah. Alright, I see a blue lever. Pull the blue lever. Uh, come back out to that room, but turn left as you come out. Okay. Uh, in front of you, at the end of the corridor, there's some stairs that go into another room. And then from that room, turn right, and there's some more stairs. Okay, turning right and up the stairs. Uh, as you follow the corridor, uh, you come to the end of the corridor, the stairs on your left, ignore those, turn right and then left again, and another room. Okay, I'm in another room. Uh, there's a switch in this room. Ah, yes. Uh, yes, a green one. Yeah, pull the switch. I pulled the green lever. Uh, I'm gonna have to look at the, the turn the map on again. Uh, so it, in front of you, next to the lever, there's another set of stairs and a, a portcullis. Is that portcullis up and down, up or down? Uh, so there's stairs up to a green portcullis, which is down. Okay. Uh, go back on yourself. So back the stairs the, the way you came in. Uh, follow the corridor to the end, right and then immediate left. Uh, at the end of the corridor, the stairs leading into another room. Okay, pull the blue switch. Yeah, pull the blue switch again, and then come back out of the room. Yep, left or right? Right, and then follow the corridor around. There's two sets of stairs. Okay, I'm in another room. Uh, there are stairs on your right that lead into another room. Can you get into that room? Uh, yep. Okay, I think you want to flip the switch in that room. Let me just check the map again. Oh yeah, this is the red one. Okay, have you flipped it? Yep. Okay, so now you're going to go back to the room that has the blue switch. Okay, uh, keep giving me directions, I think. Okay, I'm in the room with the blue lever, pulling it. All right. Okay, back out the blue room and then to your left. Uh, at the end of the corridor, there's steps ahead of you. Okay, hang on. Okay, uh, wait, to the left. 
Yeah, so when you come out of the blue room, you, there's a T-junction immediately. You can go left or right. You want to go left and then ignore the next left. Yeah, hang on. Okay. Left, ignore the next left. Yep. So then the stairs into another room. Uh, yep. And then right. And then right out of that room. And then there's a corridor. At the end of the corridor, there's stairs on your left, but you want to take the right. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. And then you follow the corridor around. You go up some steps. You're in another room with a switch. Uh, yep, the green one. Yeah, flip the green switch and then go up the stairs that you didn't come in by. Okay. Okay, I can go left or straight on. Uh, so on your left, you should have the two staircases next to each other. Oh yeah, including the red one. Go up the one that's red, right? Exactly. Okay, I am through into another door. Okay, uh, I'm out in a courtyard and there is a big chessboard. Uh, I have a movie about uh, world's greatest chess moves. I might go and watch the movie. Okay. problem in the when I went to put the it's like a, oh it went back to his place okay never mind yeah I had those the same problem I was having yeah. uh, there's a generator oh. thing here that I've turned on as well by the way I can't hear you there's a generator thing that I've turned on here by the way I still can't hear you stop talking to me I can't hear you <laughs> Oh, sorry. There's a generator thing that I've turned on, by the way. Uh, and I appear to be freezing. And then black plays king pawn to forward two. Hang on. Yeah, so like, what the heck is the undo? And why do I just keep like freezing? It's not helpful. Ah, I did a I did a move before, and I can't reset it. Awkward. Indeed. Why did you do a move? I wanted to see how the interface works. Yeah.
because there's previously been a bottleneck in us solving problems. Yeah, now I'm just like freezing. Don't freeze. Which is thoroughly not helpful. I mean, I don't see any reset in any like part of this, so. Can you just m take, like, actually move the piece back? No. Uh, can you, like, continue the game until you get mated? F. Maybe. Oh no, here we go. Ah, okay, it reset. I don't know why. Okay, what was the what was the move? I was King's pawn forward two. Uh, why? Yep. Okay. Um. Dang it. Okay. Okay. Uh, are you playing the black move as well? Or are just moving? Yes. Which of those two? I am playing black as well. Okay. I'm moving both pieces. Okay, so black, king's pawn forward too as well. Wait, what? No, this still doesn't make sense. Because I can still only move the white pieces. Why? The black pieces haven't moved. I mean, it would make sense. It would make sense if the black pieces moved without you, right? You're playing chess against somebody. Like, they just haven't moved, but I can still only move the white piece. Now I can use move a black piece, but like, it's all just out of sync. What's out of sync? Well, I had to move a white piece first. Okay, hang on. King's pawn, 4 2. Okay, what was the next move by white? Uh, oh. <sighs> so, if you would like to like. restart your chess game. Okay, just let me know. Uh, I'm ready when you are. Alright, give me the moves. So, white kings pawn forward two, black kings pawn forward two. Yep. Uh, on the white side, the bishop that's now free, which is the bishop on the king's side, moves diagonally so that it's in front of the other bishop. As in, in front of the queen side bishop. Okay, so three, and it moved three spaces. Uh, yes, I think that's right. Yep. Uh, then on the black side, the knight that's nearest that bishop, as in the queen side knight, uh, its pawn moves forward one. Got it. Okay, the white queen moves to in front of where the bishop was. Okay, two spaces. Yep. Alright, done. Uh, the black knight that you've just moved the pawn of comes out in front of the bishop. Alright. Uh, where's the White Queen? Uh, third from the right. Uh, yeah, she moves up and takes the pawn, the black pawn that's opposite her, in front of the black mission. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, pull me. Okay, I think something is open. Where is, where was it? Ah, here we go.
Okay, I have a room with a book on a pedestal with the kind of symbols we had before in terms of um, the ones underneath the portraits of weird looking animals. Okay, I probably have a book that matches it. Um, the, the books that I have all have writing on the back cover, but I can't open the books themselves. Uh, okay. Uh, and then there is a, I think it's like an invisible maze on, in front of me. Uh, cause if I step on the wrong thing, spikes come off and I die. Okay, don't die then. Uh, tell me about the book. What color is it? What symbols does it have? Uh, the book I think is blue. Um, and there, so there are five symbols in it. Yeah, they all have five symbols. Okay, um, so one kind of looks like a fox head, so there's like a, you know, diamond bow tie and then a line underneath. Yep, does the second one look like a dick? Yep. With balls? Yep. Okay, and then the third one is an upside down cocktail glass? Yep. The fourth one is a dude with round hands and he's holding his hands a level with his head. Yep. And the fifth off. one's like, I don't know, a house with a smiley face. Yeah, a shock Pikachu house. <laughs> okay, oh yeah, this is definitely clues for solving a maze. It says, before one starts in the east, take one step westward. Then start by taking two steps north. Take one more step north, but not before moving one step west. Go west some more till one hits the wall, then head straight for the door. Okay. So it's giving you the clues out of order. Yeah, uh, the other problem is which is east. I'm guessing they're saying the starting area is the east. Okay, so, all right, give me, uh, try and rearrange the clues to in order in terms of, like, uh, northwest, northeast, southwest. Yeah, well, it's hard. The order's a bit ambiguous, actually, I think, uh, by this wording, but uh, I'm going to say take one step west. Okay, that wasn't it. Uh, okay. So it says before one starts in the east, right? Yeah, it says before one starts in the east, take one step westward. Then start okay. by. Yeah, I mean, that's that's like in terms of. Is the one step westward just like how you get into the maze or something? Is it being a bit cute? Mm, no, that doesn't add up. Okay. But it does make sense to take a step before you step onto the platform. I'm just trying to think in terms of... Okay. Um, I feel like this is also not going to work because it's what I did before. Indeed. Talk to me, Doug. Ah, hang on. There is actually a compass rose as, as the pedestal. Um, but it doesn't have any indicators on it, of course. I mean, it could just have one larger than one corner larger than here. This would be north. Yeah, I don't see it though. I, uh, okay, if I assume north is in front of me, if I start in the east, no, because that, that doesn't make sense. Because I've already tried that and it's not gone well. Any joy at working out which way is which yet? Well, no, but like all the possible starting locations also kill me, so this is not very helpful at all.
Can I just verify I'm on the right oh, book here? On. The fox that was the first symbol is on a flat line. Then the flat line is wider yep. than the fox head. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is, in fact... Okay. This is, in fact, the way around I thought it was initially. It just, like... I don't know why I died the first time. Okay. All right. So I had taken one step west and then started in the east. Right. What was the next line? Uh, then start by taking two steps north. Okay. One step west, then one step north. Yep. West till one hits the wall. Oh, that was my bad. Hang on. Ah! Talk to me. Oh, I see. It is actually sensitive to how you perform it. Uh. No? Why does that kill me now? Uh, have the symbols changed? It could have changed the maze. Uh, I don't think so. No, it's the same. Ah. Did you take one step westward before you started in the east? Yes. Ah! Okay, let's slow it down and let's go through the instructions again one at a time. I know what the instructions say! But like... I did them successfully once, and then, like, every other time, it's not worked. Are you sure it hasn't changed the symbols? Yes, I'm sure. Ah, no, it has changed the symbols, sorry. The fox is now, like, standing up with arms, like, pointing upwards. Uh, does it have legs, or does it only have arms pointing upwards? Uh, only arms. And the, now the cock is really thin and has a T at the end. Yeah. Uh, and the fifth symbol, the Shock Pikachu squares, is the same, but the fourth one is like squared off arms that are over his yeah. head. Indeed, yes. Okay. Uh, starting in the far west, take two steps northbound. Okay. Head east twice. Yep. Uh, north twice. Okay. One step towards the western wall. Ah, sorry, I keep getting my east and west. Uh, okay, give me the new symbols. Uh, they are the same this time, for sure. Okay, go again. Starting in the far west, take two steps north. Yep. Head east twice. Yep. North twice. Yep. One step towards the western wall, not east. Yep. Head for the door. <sighs> okay. Should have known the problem with this game would be you're not very good at following instructions. <laughs> I did offer for you to switch. You could have been the guy giving instructions. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, uh, this combination of, like, me being bad at, like, remembering cardinal directions and, like, the fact that, like, the, just, like, the first few times I did actually follow the instructions correctly and it still didn't work for me. Okay.
I'm pressing X to down right now. Uh, 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 uh. uh okay. Um, I have what appears to be kind of a stage setup. So there is a lever that says scene one. There is a um a big knife switch that says blood light. There's a series of cranks on um like a panel. Ladies and gentlemen, ah, welcome I'm in a theater to as well. Feature show. Uh, you're possibly controlling my stage. Like I, I'm possibly. in a theater auditorium looking at a stage, but there's like nothing on the stage. Okay, has that done anything? Uh, well, I wasn't entirely looking, but it looks like some grass has come up at the front of the stage. Has it moved again? No. Um, I can see some stuff that's like off in the wings that could be hoisted into position. Uh, I was wondering if I might like see, uh, you know, a book of the play that tells you what order things should happen. Yeah, that would be useful. Uh, there was a guy who announced the play, so he might announce what things are supposed to happen. Yeah, I can't get out of like this view now where I'm like moving uh, uh, the difference back and forth. Try escape. Ah, uh, okay, okay, I can get back out of it. I had that trouble the first time I picked up with the book, since you have to use escape to put it back down. Crazy UI decision. Uh, okay, so uh, what are the controls you have again? There. Okay, there are six cranks. I can move five of them. I can move them left or right by like one rotation, potentially multiple times. I have a lever that says scene one, and I have a lever or switch that says blood light. Wait, but the, uh, hold on, are the cranks not labeled? No. I think I can figure out which one is which. Uh, don't start touching things again, that's how you got into trouble with the chessboard. Well, indeed. Oh wait, I can't get onto the stage. I've got um, like a door that leads backstage. Hold on, let me go investigate this. Okay, so on the stage, I've got like three rails for backdrops. Uh, and it looks like there are backdrops on the left side of each rail yeah uh, I've also got a trap door uh, and a gramophone there once was a castle filled with light okay the dude says hey, there well, once was a castle see. filled with life uh, and there's like a crow witch thing hanging down in the audience Okay, castle filled with life, I can probably do one moment. Yeah, not that. I can hear things moving, but I can't see anything moving. Yeah, give me a sec. Okay, I've got like an archway coming out of the wall now. Yeah, okay, cool. One sec. Uh, 
Ah! Okay, here we go. Uh, I've got like a jester, a princess, and a dude in green. What are you doing over there? Uh, also, please hurry up as this witch thing is uh, advancing on me. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, why is that one? Okay, the arch is coming out. Okay, do they overlap? Uh, they do, but uh, like they're not quite centered. The dude could move uh, one notch to the left a bit. That was right. Yeah, one more. That's as far as they go. Oh, well, maybe the arch needs to go a bit further then. But uh, there's three rails. You're using two of them. I assume something needs to come out on the third rail. No, that was back. The opposite. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. They, I mean, there's more rails. It's just I don't think those are relevant. Anymore. Well, like if it's castle filled with light. What options have you got for the third rail? Yeah, let me bring this one out as well, let's see. Okay, it's like a soldier. What options have you got for the third rail? Which third? The one that you're not using. Which third? Like, there, there's many options. There's more than three options. There's a, there's another two, but one of them is like... Um, a king or something. Right, there's the other one. Uh, I think she's a queen, actually. Okay. But, like, both of those are in front of the castle, right? Uh, yeah, th that's the third rail. Uh, can you bring out the king and the queen at the same time? So, like, the one you just did. Oh, what's this one? That's the same one. Yeah. Can you also bring out the one you had before? Oh yeah, that's the king, that guy. Okay. There once was a castle filled with life. I mean, I can bring out all of them. What's on the back one then? What, what's the other option for the back? That's it. The the last crank is broken. Really? That's a bit suspicious, isn't it? Indeed. The, so the, uh, can you see the symbols that are written on the back of the the stage things? Yes. Okay. But you can't see the fronts. Indeed. Okay, I can see both sides of them, but only when you bring them out. All right, should I just try oh. pulling the toggle with scene one written on it? Do it. Uh, well, I got some music briefly, but it stopped after like a second. Hmm, okay. 
Uh, I would leave the king out, but take the assassin guy away. Okay. Pull the lever again. Yeah, well, I got a brief flash of music and then it stopped. Try taking away the dudes at the front. Yeah. There once was a castle filled with life. That worked. Okay. So if I, what I thought was right in the first place was right, it was just I needed to then pull the toggle. All right, what's the next thing? And there lived a king with his wife. There lived a king with his wife. Okay. I really don't... I, I think these time limits are just, like, not very good. Oh, and we're back at the, um... Maze thing. Uh, that's annoying. Okay. Tell me your fox. Okay, I, it was the it's the same as last time, I think. It's the fox with no legs and arms upwards, skinny dick, uh, square pom-pom dude, and the surprise building face. Starting in the far west, take two steps northbound. Yep. Head east twice. Yep. North twice. Yep. West once. Yep. Head for the door. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, that should be them both, isn't it? Yeah, that's them both. Do you need to pull the lever again? Maybe they need to be in the castle? Maybe. But you think it wouldn't have taken the castle away if that were it? Yeah. Pull the lever? Alright, good. Oh, yeah, it said there lived. Okay, what's the next one? All were happy and all was good. All were happy and all was good. Maybe just bring them all out? Yeah, that seems likely. Keep it moving. Okay, Queen. Yas, Queen. That's all of them. Pull the lever. All were happy and all was good. That's good. Until the king killed all he could. Until what? I didn't even hear that. Until the king killed all he could. Until the king killed all he could. So maybe do the blood light for this one. Mm, okay. That's no good, because that's just pointing at the king. Maybe take the others away, the queen and the people. Uh, well, maybe I should just substitute the king for the other king. Oh, go on. King is still out. Yeah, try it now. Ah, uh, you moved the queen by one. Right, try it now. Good. Stand 
standing in blood, he proudly said. So leave the blood light on, bring the old king back out. Oh, CX, are you on it? I oh, know the old king, not the assassin king, because the assassin king doesn't line up with the blood lights. Okay. That's the queen. Oh, bollocks, hang on. <sighs> Try it now. Okay, the trap door's open. Oh. Well, well, he said some gibberish that I couldn't understand, and nothing else has happened. Uh, just interact with the, um, what should we call it? With the truck door. It's not interactable. Oh, oh well, I'm down here. No, I just walk through it if I walk into it, and there's like it doesn't give me the ring for pressing E. Not the door, like the hole. Yeah, obviously. Okay, thank you. Hello, darling. So, I'm um, guess this is like, if you stay here, it's like, can one of us escape, or can both of us escape? Uh, I'm guessing only one of us can escape. Yeah, okay. Uh, why? <laughs> why? That makes no sense. Why, why am I still pressing the thing button? <laughs> but why can only one of us escape? Because there's a weighted the it was a weighted thing, we Bob. I oh, right. So all in all, it was pretty good for a free game, but as you could see, the wonky interactions and loose ends in the puzzles annoyed us no end. I don't think we'll be playing any of the later games in the series, but if you have another co-op puzzle adventure you think we should try, leave a comment below.